Hey, what's up, Pepperheads? Another taste review, that's what is up. <laughs> yeah, so hello and welcome to another taste review. Today it's another guy from the Habanero family. And this is the one and the only chocolate habanero. So here we go. Nicely ripened pot. Uh, very nice chocolate color. So this guy or this variety is uh, Capsicum Chinense. Origin from Mexico, of course. Uh, this one supposed to has up to four hundred and twenty-five thousand Scoville units, so almost half a million. So very hot to me, for me at least. The pot uh, grows from four to five centimeters. The plant about one meter height so yeah let's cut it open and have a look inside now we'll remove the stem try to find the best possible place for a cut okay so here we go, this is how it looks like from inside, very thin walls, yeah, already smell the typical habanero flavor, and smell. So, as this one is quite hot, so let's taste a small piece without placenta. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, slowly coming heat. The flavor, I don't know what it is. Mm. It has this typical habanero flavor, but it's not that. It's not that strong. A little bit bitter. Okay, so the flavor is um, not that <clears throat> the flavor is not that strong as uh, as the red habanero. So actually quite, quite nice flavor, kind of sweet, um, um, I would like to, I would like to say I can taste the chocolate actually, but I'm not sure, but it has this ability actually to Tastes like a chocolate. Yeah, very interesting flavor. So, as mentioned, as all my habaneros, also this one will go to the sriracha sauce. But it's very universal pepper, so it's only up to your fantasy where you will use it. Uh, I also read that is used in sweets 
and sweet desserts. So you can get the inspiration from there and try to do some desserts with this pepper. So yeah, the chocolate habanero. So that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Keep growing and take care. Bye.